to Old Time Knits. This is episode 22. My name is Marie and I'm coming to you from central New Hampshire. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Old Time Knits. This is my channel where I talk about all of my knitting journey. I talk about what's on my needles, what's off my needles, what I hope to get on the needles, um, yarny acquisitions, and all the other good fiber related stuff. So if this sounds like something you would enjoy, then come on in and let's get started. I'm going to get started with finished objects. I have three of them today. And the first one was a work in progress in my last video. And here it is. It's the Pajama Cardigan 2.0 by the Autumn Acorn Knits. This was a test knit and I finished it. Love it so much. Um, this is just a really great top-down raglan, and it's got some awesome texture panel on the back. I can see that good. Maybe hard to show. I am going to insert some footage of me wearing it. Uh, it's got some texture on the sleeve. I did not make any modifications to the body of the sweater. However, I chose to do um, just a basic cuff on the bottom. Uh, I believe the pattern has a slot for your thumb to go into, and I just didn't think that I would wear that as much. So, um, yeah, and I added, uh, I added a couple of inches in the textured section because I'm so tall and obviously I added uh, length to the sleeves. Uh, but I love this so much. It is so comfortable, so soft. I haven't had too much of an opportunity to wear it because of course it's summer here and um, it's a little toasty still, but um, I enjoyed this so much. And I also loved the fact that this has um, a built-in button band so I didn't have to go back and do buttons. Um, a button pick up a button man, but I opted not to do any buttonholes anyway. I just didn't think that I would be buttoning this up. Um, like I said, I will insert some footage um, of me in it so you can get an idea of what it looks like on. Um, the pattern is set to be released September 26th, so I will let you all know when it is released and um, I will post on Instagram as well. Uh, so yes, it, it's just amazing. And I have talked about the yarn quite a bit, but I'll just quickly give you a rundown of it. And so this is the Sea Isle Cotton from Plymouth Yarns. And it is 50% um, cotton, 50% wool. And um, I used just under, just, yeah, just under five skeins. Um, so it was pretty cost effective as well. Um, and of course, somebody else might be able to, uh, you know, you might be able to get away with four skeins. I always have to have extra for my length. So super fun knit and um, so happy with it. I know that I'm going to wear that a lot, a lot. Very comfy, um, very easy to throw over a lot of things. So that is finished object number one. And finished object number two are my socks, which were also a um, work in progress in my last video. I love these so much. These are um, a gift knit. These are for my grand, my oldest granddaughter, and um, I will be putting them away for Christmas. So happy with the way they came out. I just love yarn that does this. Makes it so fun to knit. So this is the, um, ooh, oh, online or Unlean Super Sock. Um, there's 150 grams on these skeins. So they, um, this is obviously not the same color. So I think I can probably get um, a full pair and maybe a pair of shorties, if not two full pair out of this. But this is another one of the colors that I got. And it's a 75% um, percent wool and 25% polyamide. So um, it, they're rugged, they're workhorse. So really, really happy with how these turned out. She is going to love these 
and um, yay for me <laughs> for getting a Christmas gift out of the way. Well, it's uh, been warm, so knitting socks is the way to go. Uh, that being said, I just knit a sweater and my next finished object will tell another tale. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with these. Uh, I forgot to mention that they are DK weight, so that is a six ply yarn. Um, it's like a sport DK, but I use a US 3 needle on it and um, all of the details for everything that I am doing is on my uh, Ravelry, is down below for my Ravelry project pages. So that is finished object number two. I, uh, I love them so much. Yeah. All right. Finished object number three. I swear to God, it was an accident. <laughs> Um, I have been dying to cast this on. It doesn't even need an introduction. Here it is. Ta-da! I finally have myself a ranunculus. This is the ranunculus by Midori Hirose. And I just love it. I love the I-cord bind off on the sleeves. So, finally, this is my first one, and I definitely, this pattern has a lot of hype around it, and I get the hype for sure. It was the easiest knit. It was just about one week I completed this in. This is a light worsted, light worsted weight yarn. Um, I love this yarn. I'm going to talk about it here in a second, but I knit these size two. And um, I will insert a video also of me wearing it. It's um, still a little too warm to put this woolly goodness around me. But I want to talk about the yarn. So I discovered this yarn because Leslie from um, Naughty Knitwits was talking about this yarn. She's talked about it quite a few times and how much she liked it. And um, so this is from Knit Picks. And it's called Upcycle Alpaca Blend. And it's a it is a worsted weight, but it's a very light, on the lighter side, worsted weight. Um, and so the blend on it is 33% alpaca, 33% wool, and 33% acrylic. And this, um, there's 219 yards, and this is the Storm colorway. And it's this beautiful charcoaly gray color. Oh, so nice. Um... So I decided to give this a try, and boy, I am not disappointed in it at all. And um, it's a great price point, and you actually can get it um, if you can hit them on sale, uh, which I did. It was on sale for four ninety nine a ball U.S. dollars. Um, so how can you hate that? It took me five balls to do this sweater. And um, what I really liked about it is that it's super drapey. You know, it just hangs nice. So when I did mine, um, I did a gauge swatch and I actually um, did a swatch on a US 9 5.5, I think, millimeter. Um, because I I felt like using the US 10, which is the recommended needle size, the, it was just a little too, the gauge was, the fabric was just a little too open and loose for me on it. I just was looking for something not that loose. Um, so I was happy with the gauge that I got on my size nine needles. And so I went with that. Um, so my gauge, the pattern gauge is 14 stitches for four inches and mine was 16 stitches. So, um, because I had more stitches than the pattern gauge, I was going to get a smaller size, so I went up to a size two. If I was on gauge, I would have knit a size one, I think, because I did not, I do not want all of the extra um, positive ease that it comes with. I just like a sweater that fits me and isn't too boxy, um, and this fits perfect, and um, I will show you in the video if I haven't already. So I was... Anyway, I could not uh, rave enough about this. I agree with Leslie wholeheartedly. This is amazing yarn. She used this for 
<clears throat> excuse me, um, for a, uh, like a cowl in a spastrigo pattern. I can't remember the name. Getting Warmer, I think, was the name of the pattern, and it was so pretty in it. So um, I've had that in my stash for a bit. I actually thought I was going to do a different sweater with it, but I couldn't be happier. So this definitely, like I said, lives up to its name, and um, I definitely will be knitting more than one of these. It, it was so fun to do. I couldn't stop knitting the top. And then um, I really, really liked the um, the I-cord bind off on the sleeves. That was super fun to do and easy to do. Um, and I think on the bottom, yeah, the bottom rib is um, twisted rib. So it adds a little bit more um, snazziness to it. But I, I mean, if you haven't knit this yet, everybody is knitting it. Um, all the podcasters are knitting it. Uh, Selma from Little Big Knits, um, Mega from Skeins of Dreams, um, uh, Amber from A Lovely Yarn. I mean, they, it, the list just goes on and on. It is such a great knit, and um, it has been on my list for a while, and I am so happy that I finally was able to um, cast one on and get it off the needles and it just fits so nicely. I just, I can't wait to wear it. Of course it's, um, you know, wool and alpaca, so it's pretty warm and it'll be a bit before I can wear that, but I, um, I will put it on as soon as I can. So yeah, so I'm going to move on to works in progress. And the first one is in a bag from Little Robin Cottage. You guys have heard me talk about her a million times. I do have a coupon code she's offered down in the description box down below this video. And I am, um, this first project is the Framework Bralette by Jessie Made Designs. And I am making this for my granddaughter. Kind of hard to show because it's bunched up here. Um, I am only a little ways uh, because I am waiting. I'm sorry, it's really hard to show. But anyway, you can get the gist of it. This is the bottom portion, and I'm just now starting on the um, cup portions. It's got this little ridge up the front of it. Um, dropping stitches. This yarn though is amazing. Anyway, to back up, I'm waiting for some measurements from my granddaughter and, um, you know, when we want to do something and we're waiting for somebody else, <laughs> I'll probably forget the pattern by the time I get the measurements. <laughs> I didn't want to knit too far because, um, you know, I don't want it to be too big on her, but anyway, this is it. And it is, um, it is so super soft and the pattern is just very, um, very in depth. It, it pretty much holds your hand the whole way and, um, it is just beautiful. So, um, <clears throat> I am looking forward to, um, having the finished product done for her. Uh, anyway, the yarn is Emma's yarn. I have lost the ball band. I do not know where it is. Um, Emma's yarn in her 70% merino, 30% silk, and it is in the Take a Hike colorway, and it's this fantastic green. Very, very nice yarn. Very soft and silky. Very um, smooth knitting. Um, and it's really very nicely evenly colored. Um, I am knitting this on a US 5, 3.75 for the main portion. And I think I used a yeah, US 3, 3.25 for the ribbing. So not too much to show yet, but um, that is one of the things on my needles. So I look forward to getting some measurements so I can just move on. <laughs> All right, and then the second thing on my needles is um, a bit of a collaboration um, with a designer. And this is um, 
This is a design from Herb Garden Knitwear, and the um, designer's name is Hannah. She's very, very sweet. Uh, she reached out to um, on Instagram to see if anybody would um, be willing to knit any of her patterns, and um, I jumped on the bandwagon because I like her. Um, so I chose, Hannah gifted me the pattern, and I chose the monument hat which I am, you know, probably halfway through. Um, so this is knit in um, unspun yarn, which I have, I have not used unspun yarn yet. So that was pretty cool. Um, knit, uh, I'm sorry, two strands of unspun and one strand of mohair. So I went to my local yarn store and I purchased a couple of plates of Flotilope, which I've not used before, but I've heard a lot about. Um, and it is unspun. There is um, 328 yards on 100 grams. So I bought two of them because um, the yarn store recommended working from two plates when you're holding Two strands together. I did wind them together and formed a ball so I wouldn't have so much to juggle and um, because the unspun is, can be fragile and pull apart um, I decided to do that was the best way. This color is pretty cool. It's really hard to show. It's, it's very olivey and it's got some teals and blues and greens and Kind of blowing out a little bit. That's probably a better indication. And I am holding it together with this mohair. So it's kind of blowing out too. My lighting today, I'm sorry, I'm filming a little bit earlier than I normally do. Um, anyway, that mohair is um, Magpie Fibers and it's in their feather base and it's 70 mohair, 30 silk this is a 50 gram skein and it's 470 yards in the tactical colorway very nice color really nice color so together they make um they make for a nice color combo i think that's probably a good representation of it um this is a really going to be a really warm hat i will say that um you know, because it's 100% wool, the Plotilope, it's, um, it is a little scratchy and a little rustic. So this design is um, designed to have the brim flip up on it. And um, I'm looking forward to getting through this. Uh, it does have some cables in there um, to, to form these sections. Um, yeah. It's a really nice hat. So anyway, um, Hannah from Herb Garden Knitwear, she has a podcast here on YouTube and I will link to her. And she has a, um, she's also on Instagram as Herb Garden Knitwear. And um, she is very, very sweet. She's very polite. She lives in Germany. And um, she's very mellow on her podcast and um so if you get a chance to check her out i like i said i will link her down below and that is all the current whips that i have um i just cast off my ranunculus so um i now need to figure out what's next on the needles i do have um a sample knit that i have to do that's a hat but um i'm not sure what i'm going to cast on next um i need to sort out my messes right now. <laughs> um, you know, clean up the bags that I've from the finished objects and put all of the needles back where they belong. Why is it when you finish stuff, there's so much to put away? Um, and my needles are a hot mess right now. So yeah, that is all I had for whips. Um, and I did have just a couple of um, acquisitions. I uh, haven't purchased too, too much because um, I have enough going on and I, you know, the same old story. Anyway, I saw um, a couple of podcasters uh, mentioned this yarn dyer and I thought I would try her. Um, 
and her yarn is beautiful. So I'm always, of course, looking for DK yarn uh, to do socks with, and it's even better when it's, you know, got some nylon in it. So this dyer is Nicole C. Mendez. She's on Etsy, also from Germany. And this is her Night Owl colorway. Oh, it's a self-striping. So this is a soft, soft DK. It's 80% virgin wool, merino extra fine, and 20% nylon. And there's 284 yards on this. So this is almost um, a light DK, almost a sport. Not quite. Um, but I cannot wait to knit up these socks because I think they're going to be amazing. So I got that one and then I got, um, one other one and it's called coffee break. Of course, have to, cause I love my coffee. Look at the colors in this. This is beautiful. Really, really nice. So I cannot wait to um, stripe these. I really just need to get going on some of my self striping. I have quite a bit of it now in my stash and um I don't know keep getting distracted by all the things <laughs> it's hard not to all right well, let me see what else I got okay I think I'm going to wrap it up here just a little bit of a shorter episode um I'm so happy with all of the finished items that I have and I will definitely cast on another ranunculus I'm not sure what I'm going to use for yarn but um, I know that I definitely want more than one of those in my wardrobe and it's such a quick knit that, um, you know, it takes no time at all to get it uh, finished. So that'll be on my needles again at some point. And if you haven't knit one, can't recommend it enough. Everybody else who raves about it, they, they really, um, they're spot on with it. So anyway, um, I don't have much else to talk about except we're off to go camping with our grandkids. We've been a couple of weekends with them. We've been having a blast. Uh, the weather has cooperated for us. And so we have one more, we have a week long trip. And so I better get my knitting stuff organized and figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> I can't have nothing on the needles to take with me. So um, I will be going through uh, my Ravelry library and seeing what's there and checking out my stash. Maybe I'll bring a pair of, um, maybe I'll grab one of my new self striping and get, or get that on the needles for socks. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you're well. And um, I hope that you are knitting something you enjoy. And do take care, and I will talk to you again soon. I am chomping at the bit to hit my 1,000 subscribers. Just a handful of people to go, and I'll be there. And that's just such an exciting milestone uh, for me. So hopefully next, um, next podcast I get to announce that. So take care, everybody, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.